lights, camera, action. We are now in one of the largest and oldest film studios in all of Europe, Mosfilm. For 94 years, this Moscow Dream Factory has produced thousands of films that have become classics all over the former USSR. Mosfilm's work has even received some Oscars and has truly developed the art of filmmaking in Russia. Eisenstein, Tarkovsky, Bondarchuk and many other directors used to work here. We are now going to put ourselves into the magical world of Russian cinema. Founded in 1923, Mosfilm is basically a Hollywood studio in Russia with a huge territory of 34 hectares. Studio's infrastructure includes dozens of film pavilions, sound design studios, costume departments, archives and even a huge greenhouse to grow flowers for certain films. The biggest pavilion is 2,000 square meters. It hosted the first ball of Natasha Rostova in War and Peace and many other legendary movie scenes. Don't limit your imagination. Your film can take place in Venice or London. And the sound engineers could quickly take you to the sea. Or a snowy town. The old Moscow and St. Petersburg sets where we started our journey, are used by many contemporary directors. Last year, the Anna Karenina film was made here by Karen Shahnazarov. Each year, Mosfilm hosts up to 120 films during different levels of production. Apart from that, the studio has a huge archive with scenarios, film documents and cast albums. We had a look at the production plan of Solaris by Andrei Tarkovsky and a cast book of another film of his, Andrei Rublev. This is called a production project, which needs to be done before every film. This project has the detailed description of each scene, costumes, requisite sets and many more. Here you can see the architecture of the sets as well. Everything in order for us to feel like you're in a space station. The world-famous brand and symbol of Mosfilm is a small version of the giant Soviet sculpture, Walker and Farmer Woman, by Vera Muhin. It was introduced to the film studio after the Second World War and appears in the opening and closing sequence to all Mosfilm productions to this day. You'd need more than a week to walk around the whole Mosfilm territory in order to see every studio and facility. So it's better to do it by car, especially if it's a vintage one. I hope that today's journey will inspire you to learn more about Russian cinema and come to see Mosfilm for yourself. Stay tuned, we're about to reveal some more secrets of Moscow.